Someone from Pennsylvania is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And to reflect on what the gentleman from California was saying, recalling the testimony last week of survivors of abortion, their stories have are remarkable. They show the deep appreciation that they have for their lives, and they are so grateful to have survived the attacks on their lives. So many others who did not survive will never have the chance to express such gratitude. We also know from ultrasound technology to see how unborn children grow and develop. Their humanity is abundantly clear. So should be their right to life. Our Declaration of Independence recognizes that the right to life is inalienable, given by our Creator. Indeed, President Kennedy, 54 years ago, pushed back against those who would undermine this fundamental precept of our nation when he recognized that, quote, the same revolutionary beliefs, so beliefs for which our forebears fought are still at issue around the globe. The belief that the rights of man come not from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. Giving survivors the same care, abortion survivors the same care and legal protection that any other child born at the same level of gestation would receive at birth is humane and is essential. It also complies with the equal protection bedrock of our country. I thank the speaker and I yield Gentlemen's back.